Hey guys! While browsing through different live streams, I've noticed that a lot of you like to have rounded corners on your webcams rather than just plain old rectangles. It adds a little variety to your stream while still keeping a clean, minimal design. Well, I've decided to provide my gradient camera frames in a rounded corner design for those of you who aren't squares. Do people still say squares? In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial for how I made these camera frames. Please feel free to follow along with this if you want to make your own. Then we'll go over how to set up the camera frame in OBS, including how to set up the image mask so that your camera itself has rounded corners to match the frame. If you use these or any of my other free designs, please feel free to stop by my Twitch channel and let me know how you like them, if you have any questions about them or anything of the sort. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bbgun. I'll put a link for that down in the description below. I have provided these frames in the 14 variations that you will see on the screen. They are all available to download for free in WebM format. I also have provided the image mask file for you to use with these frames. All downloads are available via the Dropbox link in the description below. If you like these designs, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when I post more content for you all. All right, so in After Effects, I've gone ahead and created a composition that is 1920 by 1080 pixels, 60 frames. And I have created a shape here to fill the entire composition. The fill of the shape is transparent and then the stroke is set to 35 pixels. I just picked something that when you zoom out, it is still thick enough to see the frame. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is just go down to your rectangle path roundness and click and drag this to round the corners. I'm gonna go to it looks pretty good. That looks pretty good at 130. And then what we're going to do is add a new shape. Use the ellipse tool up here. Click and drag, hold shift to make it a perfect circle. Align it to the center of our composition. Make sure it overlaps all the corners of your composition. Then you can click and drag these to change the gradient fill. See, it becomes more gradual. So I'm gonna rename this the color circle for reference. So you actually want to make the color circle below your frame layer. And then you're going to change the track mat on the color circle to alpha mat frame. And boom, now the color is just overlaid on your frame shape. Hit R to open the rotation keyframe panel here. Add a keyframe at the start of your composition and at the end, I've made mine eight seconds. Add another keyframe and you're going to change your rotation to the end at 360 degrees. So now if we come back here at the beginning, we play it through, you can see that the gradient overlay is gradually rotating around the frame. Okay, so to set this up in OBS, the first thing you're going to do is right click on your camera source, go to filters, click the plus sign down here under effect filters, add an image mask, okay, browse for the file that I provided, make sure that the color is set to white, and then hit close. Then you're going to click to add another source in OBS, add a media source, I'm gonna name it frame test, but you can name it obviously whatever you want to. Browse for whatever frame you want to use. Make sure you select loop and close file when inactive. You can change the speed here to be faster or slower, however you desire. I'm gonna keep it at 100% for now. So now you have your camera that is rounded at the corners because of the image mask, and you have your camera frame. So you just need to scale down your camera frame as needed to fit correctly on top of your camera. All right, there you go, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and liked these designs. Again, a reminder that I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bbgun. Please feel free to come by and chat with us sometime during a live stream. I'd love to see you there. You can also follow me on Twitter at itsbbgun and Instagram at itsbbgun. I like to post important stream updates on there as well as just general life stuff, coffee, dogs. It's all great. I'll put links to all my socials down in the description below. I also post all of the free designs I've made for you guys in my Discord server under the free designs channel. I'll put a link to my Discord down in the description below as well. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.